Gracious God, open our eyes, not to see the world more clearly, but to see your presence in our lives. Open our eyes so that we see your work, see you working around and in all that we do. Allow us to see your hand in the mundane and the fantastic. Help us to truly trust in what we cannot see and believe in your invisible presence. A reading from Romans 10. But the righteousness that comes from faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, 
on your lips and in your heart, that is, the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. Let us pray. God, our Father, we confess that at times our doubts and fears override our hope and faith. Forgive us when we lose sight of the joy of your love and instead fall into despair and gloom. Lift up our spirits and help us to remember the promise of new life here and now, not just the hope of resurrection for the future. We give thanks for your Son, Jesus the Christ, who continues to offer us new life who continues to turn us around and upside down, who continues to break down the walls of death in our own life. Forgive us, restore us, and renew us. In the name of our risen Savior, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Creator and Redeemer, we live by faith and not by sight. Our focus is on your invisible kingdom, not what we see and touch. Help us to have faith and trust in your promises. Continue to assure us that you will do what you have promised, that Jesus is with us and will one day return. May we always listen for your voice and walk in obedience to your will. We pray this through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
A reading from 2 Corinthians. So we are always confident, even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we do have confidence, and we'd rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him.
Let us pray. Most merciful God, pour your Holy Spirit into our hearts, that with steadfast faith we may cling to your Son Jesus and find comfort in his passion and death. Help us to live into the forgiveness of sin through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. May we, in willing obedience to your commands, lead holy lives on earth until by your grace we depart from this world of sorrow and obtain eternal life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Ephesians. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. May the embrace of God the Father be the comfort you desire. The name of Jesus be the one whom you rely. And the presence of the Holy Spirit be with you always. May the Holy Trinity be the focus of all that you are. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you.